In this demo, I will attempt to create a or insert a drawing border with the title block. I'll show you how to put in a revision block, modify the drawing size, as well as edit the title block. So we're currently in the drafting workbench looking at an existing border and I'm going to try and uh, help you set that up. So hopefully you can follow these steps and uh, we'll get the border in there so we can start creating a drawing. So I will close this off. You are accustomed to working in part design thus far. Now what we're going to do is learn a new workbench. We've done Sketcher, we've done part design, now we're going to go into the drafting workbench. The same technique, you hit the 3D on the compass, and you're looking for the icon that looks like this called drafting. So you look for the icon drafting, you'll see the dials, the radio waves on the bottom. It came up pretty quick on mine, perhaps because I had one up already, but this is a blank drawing border. And step one to creating a drawing border or inserting the drawing border is to go to the view layout tab on the bottom. So inside the view layout tab, there's another tab called page layout. The page layout icon on the bottom feature, the bottom feature on the right, that page layout will allow you to insert a drawing border. So I'm going to pop in the border. And I'm going to hit ANSI ASME. I'll hit the down arrow just to show you. You have ISO standards, ANSI and ASME. So ANSI stands for, actually, I'm going to let you guys look that up. Go look up your acronyms for ANSI, ASME, and ISO and be prepared to be tested on that later. Uh, ANSI was an older standard, and ASME is the newer standard. Okay, but I want you guys to Google ANSI, ASME, and ISO. <clears throat> You'll be asked that in several classes in the machine shop as well as the drafting class, those acronyms. The sheet style I want you to use is a C size drawing. So we're going to go with the C size ANSI drawing, even though really we're using ASME now, but so apparently hasn't updated that. So we're going to use the ANSI drawing and the type of drawing. I want you to use is sample number two. So choose sample two and then hit create. Go ahead and hit apply. You can see half the borders in there. What we got to do is go to view, fit all in, and now I can see the border. Okay, I'm going to zoom down a little bit so you can see the full border there. Now I want to add a rev block in here. So I'm going to slide down and hit Add Revision Block and hit Apply. At this time, you're going to type in your initials. My initials are DKP. Um, for description, we're going to say Initial Drawing. I can't even see that. Okay, so initial drawing, and then say OK. Now it comes in automatically with Rev A, so we got to ch change that. Came in with today's date. Initial drawing, my initials. I'm the one who created this. This is going to be Rev New. So that says Rev A, and in the title block here. It says Rev X. You think that should automatically match, but it doesn't. We're going to put a dash there, and the dash will represent a new drawing. Now, before I do that, I thought I would show you if you decide, you found, hey, I created too small of a drawing and I wanted to go with a bigger drawing border, you can simply hit. Change this to the D size and hit resize and hit apply 
and now it's a bigger drawing border. Okay. Again, if you realize you went with the wrong size, you can hit the size you want. The larger the letter, the bigger it gets. I'll go back to the C size. Find resize in the bottom here. <clears throat> Activate resize and then hit apply. We can go to view, fit all in. If this drawing border looks like it will suffice, you can save that by hitting OK. And those are the steps to inserting a border and modifying the size of the border. When you get the border in there, you're going to have to change it. And when I zoom up to the rev block, I want to edit this A to a dash, but it won't let me click on it. So the reason why I won't let you click on it is that sheet is in a different background. And it prevents you from making mistakes on the drawing border while creating orthographic views. So if I right click on sheet one, you'll notice it says edit background. In the background is the drawing border. In the regular sheet background, in the regular sheet, uh, in the regular drawing environment, you'll be working with the orthographic views. If I select edit background, again, we right click on sheet one, to get the contextual menu and hit the edit background. You'll notice that the background is gray, letting you know that you're in the border work environment or the border workspace. So when it comes to drawn by, that would be your name. All you have to do is double click this and type in your name. Everything has to be in capital letters. So type in your first initial with your last name. Check by would be a checker here. That will be me for the most part. So my name D. Promacio. And then double click that again. D. Promacio. All right. I designed the exercise. I will check your exercise, but you're the student that's doing it. Make sure all your dates match up. So I'm just going to copy paste the dates. Again, all you have to do is double click to edit. How do you change anything on Katia? You double click it. Next thing we got to change is we're in America. And in America, we don't find weight in kilograms. We do this in pounds. So you're going to change that to pounds, L, B. Okay. <clears throat> and you'll type in your weight when you find your weight for your part you will give it a four place dimension okay so dimension it to four places or sorry not dimension to four places but give me the weight in four places this rev should be a dash so I'll change that to a dash, and again, the dash means new. The drawing number, in my exercise one, I'm going to use this drawing number given to me. So that's my drawing number. And the title. In this exercise, I'm going to use plate with hole as the title. So the title will always be nomenclature, and the drawing will always be a number. Drawing number will be a number. <clears throat> oh, that all has to be caps. Dang it. Plate. Okay, very simple title. Usually you call it bracket or gusset or whatever it is you're drawing. <clears throat> so that's what you got to do to edit this drawing. Okay. And then this has to match below, which is a dash. Okay, everything else comes in fine.
All right. Looks like everything's edited there. Now we don't hit this exit. We go to the sheet, contextual menu, edit the sheet, and that puts me back in the sheet environment, allowing me to add my orthographic views. We now have a border set up where we can add our drawing part. All right, that concludes the exercise for inserting the border. Hopefully this helps you out if you're struggling with getting any of the border or text edited or any other issues you're having with the borders.